through some stuff that looks like documents. So you can get your Tim Holtz paper out or any type of paper that you have, um, scrapbook paper that's all vintagey and made to look like it's um, like it's um, documents or like it's like sales. Like here it says cotton, fort, $19.80, whatever. Okay, this kind of stuff is so cool. So let's do some distressing on that. Also, maps. If you have some maps in your uh, scrapbook paper, here's a map. We can do that one. And then look how cool this is. This is like a ledger. Now, if you have stuff in your stash, if you've gone to, to thrift stores, like ledgers and all kinds of stuff, pick, use that, age that stuff too. But a lot of us have this Tim, especially Tim Holtz, but a lot of things like this in our scrapbook paper. So find the ledgers, find your maps, um, handwriting, um, stuff, anything like that. So we're going to, we're going to do work on these right here. Okay. So let's start out. And a lot of times I do like to start out lighter and then go darker. So I like to start out with the uh, vintage photo. And we'll start with the vintage photo and we'll start out with the walnut stain. And you know what else I want to throw in? Let's throw in some distressed, a distressed stain antique bronze this is this right here okay let me get this working so I'm gonna throw that in right here just throw that right in the middle okay so now we just threw in some distressed stain So let's try let's do this let's do the document first cool oh that looks so cool uh, throwing in the um, antique bronze this is cool it adds a little bit it adds that um, it adds like a bronzy blinginess to it. I'll show it to you guys up close in a second. Oh, that's so cool. Like, look. Can you see that? like adds that bronzy glittery look so cool love it okay so let me put that aside let's load again the same thing we just did we did I'm trying to do a big area we just did a vintage photo oxide uh, walnut stain oxide and some distressed stain antiqued bronze and these have like that on them remember i haven't seen anybody using these for a long time they're old i don't think he's come up with any new ones out of everything he does he's, he's done the stress oxide but i don't think he's done distressed stains or i don't think he think he makes them anymore i'm not sure but okay we got a lot going on our thing so we can do a lot of papers that's why I put a lot on here. We got some falling off of the edge over here, so let's get that off the edge. Come on back. There we go. Love it. Look how cool that is. Okay, let's set that aside. All right, now we're doing this map. This is one of those eight by eight pads, I think, or even smaller than eight by eight pads. So. I got really lucky last year and um, when Hobby Lobby was doing their clearance and they had about a 
about this fat of a um about that fat of a uh scrapbook paper that was all maps and then there was one that was like maps and documents and they were five bucks you guys i have so much of it i bought so many pads of it and now i'm so glad i did okay i knew i was glad when i bought it but now that i'm doing this kind of stuff oh my gosh so exciting okay, i'm trying to there we go i got stuff going on the edge over here so that's what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to get it off the edge there we go Look how cool this looks. Oh my gosh. See the see how you see that bronze color coming through? Love it. Okay, do we have any others? Let me just pull a few more things out small things. Let me throw some tags on here. You know what I have? These are cool. I have time cards I made into tags that I got from Sam's Club. So pick these up. You can pick up a pack of like a hundred for like cost you eight bucks, but you can pick a pack of a hundred up. So it's really fabulous. And they make great tags. So I went and took my tag punch and I just punched the sides. And you don't have a tag punch, just clip them. Just clip them like this. And then you can either leave them clipped or you can round the edges. It just makes them look more like tags. Or you can leave them square. But it just makes them look more like tags. I think if you have kind of a little edge on them, a little fancier edge on the corners. Look how cool that looks. Let's see what else we can pick up what's left on this glass mat here. And if you don't have a glass mat, uh, you can use, um, if you have a placemat, use that um, if you have like right below me is um, some uh, shelf liner from um, Dollar Tree it's very plasticky this would be a great thing to work off of so go over where they have um, the, the in fact I can show you what it is exactly I have it right here in arm's length this is what I'm talking about you can buy this at um, at Dollar Tree, and it's called um, it's contact paper. Yeah, it's just contact paper that you put in shelves. For one, it's beautiful, but number two, this is what you can lay down and you can do this kind of work on because it's it's you know plasticky or shiny or whatever, so it'll work good. I got this glass mat though. Um, it's Crafter's Companion, and I got it from. HSN for like 20 bucks you guys so fabulous price now this is just all the pickup of what I about what was left on this mat look how cool love okay let me spray this down a little bit and let's wipe this off I like working uh, big like that like putting a lot of product on here because then I can do a lot of pieces at one time Fabulous. Okay, so let's go back to some of the stuff we did at the beginning and do a second layer on these, on these two here. Let me dry them. Let me look and see what time we're at. Okay, we've been playing for 42 minutes, so we got another 15 minutes, and you're probably on to part two now. So we're just continuing on.
you guys have to excuse my nails. I mean, they look fine. I just put them on and um, I haven't polished them yet. <laughs> I just haven't got to the polishing part. Okay, so we have these two here, which I just love the way they look. Let's add some stuff to them. I wanna add some cracked pistachio. Let's add some cracked pistachio. And I want to add, you know, let's, let's experiment with something over here. Um, tarnished, what was that that I used? All right, this is, um, the one I used before was antique bronze. Let's use um, tarnished bronze distress stain. Okay. Let's use a little bit of that. Also, you know what else let's use? Let's also use a little bit of, um, a little bit of vintage uh, rusty hinges. We need to add a little rust too. So we'll add a little rusty hinges around the edges here. Okay. A little bit of that. Perfect. Let's add a little bit of that. Cool. That looks really, really, really cool. All right, we'll stop there. And I can't wait to see this dried. But look how cool that's looking. This would be so cool to make a book out of it. It'd be great to make a pocket out of it. Um, this would be great to tear up and put in, um, to make a collage in the um, my art journal slash junk journal. I know, this is what we're gonna call it, artsy junk journal. There we go, in my artsy junk journal. And let's keep going. You know what's happening over here? This blue is mixing with this, um, with this, or the cracked pistachios mixing with the uh, rusty hinges, and it's creating a green right there, which is coming out really cool. Kind of like my ring. That was cool. See, when you start playing around, things just start happening, and you're like, oh. Like Bob Ross said, happy little accidents start happening. And that's when the good stuff happens, you guys. The happy little accidents. And isn't that the truth in your life? So many times you've had happy little accidents. Or at the time you think it's horrific and it's not great at all. And it's an accident or it's something that you didn't want to happen in your life. And then it turns out being the best thing ever. Yeah. That's happened to me. Okay, so let's throw the cracked pistachio down again. Um, I am loving the, what I just use. Did I use the antique bronze? Oh no, I used this one. I used the tarnished brass. Let's use that again. Yeah, let's just get crazy. Let's use tarnished brass dis distress stain. So this is the tarnished brass distress stain. And let's throw in some antique bronze distress stain. And also rusty hinges. water all right and we got this piece here let's add some let's add some goodiness to it Love it. That's looking awesome. We'll put that piece away. Let's go to the map. This map here. I want to get some rust going on it right away. Isn't that just the pistachio the best for the rust? I love that. Get a big 
big amount of rust on there. Rusty hinges. I want to check out if the rusty hinges is in the Distress Oxide. I haven't seen it yet. If you know, link it below. But I'm going to look it up because I would like um, rusty hinges in an uh, Oxide. Oh, look how cool that's tur that turned out. That this Look how even more old and aged that map looks. Oh, just love it. And see when you work in layers what it does? Love it. All right, second layer for this right here. For this um, time card, which I made for a tag. I love rusty hinges on top of all this and then hit pistach the cracked pistachio because the rusty hinges and the pe cracked pistachio really make it look like rust. Like your, like your card or your paperwork or your tag got in a box of rusty nails or just something happened to it. Something good. Look how cool. Love it. Now that, that looks really cool. Okay, so we had just enough. So the last layer we're going to put on all of these um, is going to be um, the weathered wood. And you know what I want to try? Because I haven't tried it yet. Um, I haven't even used it. I have so, I got so many of these distress stains, distress oxides, all this from Hobby Lobby over the, over the years of them clearancing them out. So I haven't used... I want to use that one. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. Lush pewter. I will use that, but not yet. Just a second. Okay, I want to use the pumice stone distress spray. Let's try that. Let's just try that period and see what that does. And do we need to mix it with some water? I haven't really used the Distress Sprays. I'm ashamed to say. Isn't that shameful? Let me just put on a card like this and see what it does. Oh, okay. Okay, let's add a little water to it. Oh, very cool. Okay, so it's pretty potent, so we don't need to add a lot. Just be cool. Just get that in little areas. We don't need a lot. Cool. So I have, the, so I just used uh, pumice stone in the distress spray. And then I have pumice stone distressed ink here. And it's different. It's more intense in the distress spray. So that's cool. All right, this is just adding that little extra unk or gunk to your piece to just make it look a little more dirty and aged. Not only does some rusty na nails and wrenches get to your piece, but also some bad weather. Maybe a little mold. Very cool. Maybe a little mold got up on there. You guys were like, oh, lovely. <laughs> and how quick and easy is that? All in one thing. Love that. I also have distressed uh, paints, so I'd like to use some distressed paints and see what those do. <coughs> when I do jelly printing, I'm going to use my distressed paints on my gel on my jelly plate because I haven't ever used those on my jelly plate. Okay, so let's go to another piece and put a little black up on it. We got this map, so let's do that. Put a little of that pewter on the map. Cool. I'm gonna really run it through that edge. Run it through this edge. <laughs> cool. Okay, and then we got this tag. Let's just throw some of it on this tag. gonna mop up a whole bunch on this tag clean up my clean up my thing 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to, I want to take the time to dry these now so we can really look at these and see how these are all turned, how these all turned out. So let's start drying some stuff. Oh, look how cool this looks. This is just with the um, pumice stone, the distress spray. Look how dirty that looks. That's just the distress spray. That is cool. Oh, I love that. Okay. That's the fun of playing. You start doing this, you start playing around, and you just start keep discovering more and more stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what else I want to try. I want to try this uh, cracked uh, pistachio. You know how we've been using the Distress Oxide? Why well, have the Distress Oxide spray? Oh, I need to use this. Okay, we're gonna use this before this video's over. I have so much to play with and so little time. Okay, wait, what time is it right now? Yeah, we got about five minutes. Let's dry this. We'll play with Distress Oxide spray the next time. I just sprayed the Distress Oxide spray. This stuff is cool, you guys. You saw me just spray it and just spray it everywhere. Well, I just went and dabbed it. I didn't even add any water and it's just cool. I was going crazy over here. I was just playing, throwing all kinds of stuff on this one with the pumice stone. I sprayed some um, cracked pistachio on it. Then I have some spray of uh, tea dye. I threw that on there. Just playing around on the side. Okay, so while we have a little bit of time left on this video, I just want to show you. Let me see about right where I want to go. Look how cool this looks. And that's spraying the uh, oxidized spray, Cracks Pistachio. This one right here. Just spraying it right on there. And then dabbing it with the paper towel. 
because I got, I had some drip on there when I was playing around while I was drying. And then look at this old looking tag, fabulous. Love. And this is still a tad bit damp, so these things are gonna change even more. Look at this. You can do so much stuff with this. Now I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna make. We're gonna make tags out of this. We're gonna make pockets. We're gonna use them for ripping up and putting them in our backgrounds. For our artsy junk journal. Look how cool all this came out. Oh, you guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys, so the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on um, on making some more papers like this, but using the jelly plate to make like ones that look like old doors, old walls, stuff like that, old caves. And then we'll take all that stuff and we'll start using it in the background in our RT junk journal, and we'll start making different things, tags, envelopes, um, using it for collage material. You can use all kinds of stuff for this. This is just yummy. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, do something nice for someone today. And remember, remember, my friends, we are more alike than we are not. All right? I'll talk to you guys next video.